Today we're looking at Skewerk Spiral, which is a collection of uh, GUI controls for the Fez Panda 2 and Fez Touch LCD. It could also be used with any other compatible LCD, or uh, it could also be wired up to a domino as long as you did the uh, LCD wiring yourself. Um, so we're going to start here. Uh, first time through, I don't have any calibration data in here, so it's going to bring up the calibration screen for me. Once I'm done, I can just go ahead and click continue. Uh, I added in a, a username and password requirement on this form just for fun to show off the new text box that we've added. Um, we've also added this input dialog, which is separate from the text box, so you can go ahead and use it however you see fit. You can uh, create another control or you can use it with uh, input dialogs, uh, anything like that. So I put in the username of user. Now I'm going to need a, a password as well. Now this one has a password character set to it, so you'll see that when I type in a character, it only stays up for um, three quarters of a second before being hidden behind the password character, which uh, in this case is the asterisk symbol. Now that I've got that in, I can go ahead and click continue. Uh, an interesting thing about the Fez Panda and the Domino is they don't actually have enough memory to support a full screen image. However, Spiral can stream them from an SD card, which is what it's asking me if I want to do right here. I'm going to say yes. It'll let me know to tap to continue when I'm done. Those input dialogs also are available with um, Spiral. They come standard. They're modal blocking. Uh, so here you can see 320 by 240 loaded up image. Uh, once we're all done, it brings us to our final form, which shows off uh, a bunch of the controls. We have a command button here, some radio buttons, a checkbox, a couple of labels, a progress bar, which we're uh, updating on a different thread, a uh, list box. Uh, here's another one of our new controls. We have a picture box, and the picture box is using uh, yet another new class that we've created called Tiny Bitmap. Tiny Bitmap. Uh, we put in because the bitmap class isn't actually available in here, so we wrote this up so that you could use something similar to it. Uh, the tiny bitmap can actually save to a regular bitmap file. You can also do a full print screen, so if you're working on a new product, uh, you've gotten it all looking nice and well, uh, you can call uh, graphics.save to BMP. Uh, use this sparingly though because that, that does require that it scans every single pixel from the LCD and being a serial LCD it takes several minutes to do this. Uh, however it can be pretty neat. So there you are. I hope you've enjoyed um, Skewerk Spiral.